Gatiga, tiga, tiga. My father. My father. John 18, 7 and 8. John 18, 7 and 8. And we'll read also verse 10. Then asked he then then again whom seek he and they said Jesus of Nazareth Jesus answered I have told you that I am he if therefore ye seek me let these go their way verse 10 the Peter Simon Peter having a sword drew it and smote the high priest's servant's ear and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Too protected to be molested. Too protected to be molested. Too embraced to be embarrassed. Too protected to be molested. If you start from verse 4, Jesus said that there is something written concerning him. Every man in life has a book. You may not have a good look, but you have a good book. a book a bookless man is a useless man and everything that happens to a man's life is determined by the book that has been written concerning him but there is something I got to understand about life sometimes when you see your life and you see some battles and some challenges of life and you're going through them there's a dimension of life that prayer doesn't reveal there's a dimension of life that fasting does not unveil there's a dimension of life that speaking in tongues and vigil does not unveil that dimension of God hides in problem the fat man never shows up when you fast the fat man never shows up when you pray the fat man shows up when you are in the fire the fat man shows up when things get so critical and sometimes when the enemies think they are fighting you what God is actually doing is using them to give you access to a dimension of him it's like the brothers of Joseph when they saw Joseph they took the coat of many colors and the Bible says when they saw him coming up they dip that coat in blood as far as they were concerned it was to be a conspiracy but if only they knew that they were helping him to sanctify his future they were helping him to prepare his life because all that Joseph went through from the pit to the prison to the palace it was because of the blood on the coat because he said when I see the blood I will pass over here so when he was in the pit when the battle came he remembered that this man he had the blood over his coat when he was in the prison when the battle came he remembered this man he had the blood over his coat so sometimes when the enemy starts messing God starts blessing there's a dimension of God the one that David said is there not a cause David said there are three reasons I'm going through this battle now I'm going through this battle of life number one to give the anointing expression as soon as Samuel anointed David who would know David is anointed if Goliath does not go down who will know David is anointed if Goliath is not swallowed up who will know David is anointed if the lad does not give way that was the first reason why he went through the battle the second reason was for proper positioning David was in the wilderness he took the battle to bring him to the city David was hiding in the bush he took the battle 
for to announce him what my you don't understand what I'm saying one time my father and the Lord I walked into a place my father and the Lord was ministering and as I walked in there to come and greet him the camera just beamed on me and the whole place roared and people shouted and I was walking to meet my father and the Lord into the office he said something to me he said do you know that the battles of your life has put you on the limelight the battles of your life has put you out there and I didn't understand what he said until I sat down I began to understand and began to think about it it was from the bush that this thing brought him and brought him to limelight is there not a cause the third reason why he needed to go to that battle was for to correct family errors his brothers ran from Goliath his elder ones ran from Goliath but God brought him to put an end to the mockery in the family there is somebody here under the sound of my voice as you hear me today the shame in your family is coming to an end because of you the shame in your family is coming to an end because of you take your seat we know the story and the scenario Judah said this man called Jesus I will identify him with a kiss and when I identify him seize him kill him seize him kill him so in other words when the people came for Jesus they didn't know him the truth is this those who are after you don't really know you they need someone close to you to identify you those who are fighting you don't really understand who you are they didn't know him they, they needed Judas to identify him Matthew 10 36 a man's enemy and members of his household Zechariah 13 verse 6 he says what are these wounds in thy hand I was wounded in the house of my friend Psalm 41 verse 9 my own familiar friend who I trusted has lifted up his hand against me Micah chapter 5 verse 12 trust not in a friend rely not in a guide God is against you see there is one thing you must pray for this end time as a child of God it is the son of spirit because we live in a generation of too many gimmicks too many evil and wickedness you need discernment of spirit do you know that the fall of man was tied around deception the fall of man the mystery behind man's fall the mystery behind all we are going through was tied around deception Satan deceived Eve the man was not deceived is the woman that was deceived so the mystery around the fall of man was because of deception so if we must uh, escape uh, and be emasculated uh, from the fall uh, then we must understand discernment of spirit uh, you must begin to understand uh, and pray prayer uh, oh lord let people's hearts be on their faces uh, so that i can see their face and know their heart uh, you must understand uh, that white teeth is not white heart uh, am i talking to somebody here smiling face may be smelling heart smiling face uh, may be smelling heart uh, you must get to the point you understand uh, Open my eyes uh, to see the real identity of men. Uh, there was a man uh, in Mark chapter 8. Uh, the man was blind. Uh, the man was blind. His eyes were shut. And Jesus entered into his city. And Jesus took him out of the town. When he took him out of the town, uh, this man thought men loved him. Uh, this man thought his friends wanted him. Uh, this man thought his friend desired him. Uh, when Jesus took him out, uh, Jesus touched his eyes the first time. Uh, and I hear people say, Jesus had to give him a second touch for him to see. What devil of blindness is that that jesus will need to lay hands on you twice before blindness disappears there were people that just by touching him their eyes were open what was the experiment jesus carried out the first touch was for him to know those who were around him the first touch was for him to identify those you see i see men as trees jesus said that's what i want you to know that this man you trusted is the tree in your life this man you trusted is the one fighting you this man you trusted is the one opposing you this man you trusted is the one doing you he said now let me now pray for you so that you can now see men as men to see them as they are so the mystery behind that man's blindness was the finger of a man that is why jesus said i have to lay hands on you first so that you see men and understand that they are trees no wonder he said every tree that my father matthew 15 13 has not planted must be uprooted out i pray for you today by the power of the holy ghost the real identity of your oppressors, uh, this shall be unveiled to you. The real identity
multitude of your oppressors who shall be unveiled to you. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus was not arrested. He gave himself. Nobody killed Jesus. He laid down his life. He was not arrested. He gave himself. Until you give yourself, you can't go down. Until you give yourself, you can't be captured. Yeah, me child of God. <laughs> People don't give, down, give up because of their battle. People give up because of their strength. He said, if you faint in the day of adversity, it's not your battles that are great. It is your strength that is small. When you see battles around you, the battles around you is intended to make you give up. The battles around you is intended to make you surrender. The battles around you is intended to emasculate you from life. But you must tell yourself something. You are living for a generation. You are living for an assignment. There are people that will drown if you go down. There are people that will expire if you give up. When you look at your siblings, you look at your generation, there's an assignment you have. There's a mandate on your head. And that is why you can't give up on your marriage. You can't give up on your husband. You can't give up on your wife. You can't give up on your spouse. Because you have an assignment. You have not even started scratching the surface of your assignment. Do you know why you are seeing so much battles? It's because the kind of destiny you carry is abnormal. When we sit and see you, Satan is confused. So he throws an arrow on the left. He throws an arrow on the right. He throws an arrow around you. Because he does not understand what he sees. There is something about your future. Satan is too small to predict your future. So what he does is to throw arrows in the wheels of progress. But I'm here today by the power of God to say you are too protected. To be, to be, to be molested. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? That's why you can't give up. Somebody say, I can't give up. I can't give up. You know what Jesus did? One time. <laughs> when Peter, when Jesus, Allah Shaka, when Jesus died, Peter had so much influence. So Peter told the people, I go out fishing. Many followed him. So in the book of John chapter 20, 21 verse 25, Jesus knew that Peter had an alternative. Fishing was there. So when Jesus appeared to them, he said, have you any fish? They gave him the fish. He took the fish and he put it in the fire. I consume your alternative. I roast your alternative. After now, you are going nowhere. You die in this work. He said, I consume the fish. The last time, I, I, you still had your net. You still, Peter said, let's go out fishing. So when Jesus appeared in John, Jesus took the fish and threw it into the fire. In other words, even when I leave, you have nothing to turn back to. He burned the bridge behind them. He put a clog on the wheel. Am I speaking to somebody here? There are people who go through shaking and they think of backsliding. But there are a few of us, we have nowhere to go. We have no peer to turn to. He is our life. He has become our everything. Am I speaking to somebody here? He has become our all all in all. He has become our Ebenezer. He has become our Savior. That is why we call him Lord and Master. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yeah. You are too protected to be molested. The Bible says, so when, Ju when Judas came, imagine Judas walking into where Jesus was another disciples. Judas never saw Jesus as a man of God or as a prophet. Judas saw Jesus as his karma. Of course. If you read John chapter 12, if you read from verse 5, he said, of what use is this waste? You carried perfume, you wasted it. The Bible says in verse 6, not because he loved him, but because he was a thief. So he saw him as a scammer, but he was for he was the treasurer. Ka, sir, there are certain meetings, inner carcass meetings, that is meant for treasurers. Not everybody stays there. Certain inner carcass meetings, 
that is meant for certain officers and certain men of authority. Judas was in that inner circle. To make matters worse, Judas and Jesus were first cousins. But that was not enough. Am I speaking to somebody here? Do you know when I just imagine painting the picture when Jesus walked when Judas walked into where Jesus was with the chief priest? Do you know the pain of seeing your friend conspiring with your enemies? Do you know the pain of seeing a family conspiring with adversaries? I have seen people wasted. I have seen people. A, a pastor came and the pastor was looking for his only daughter, but his first daughter, sorry, looking for his first daughter who has been kidnapped. He came with his resident pastor. You know, resident pastor is the one who stays when the general of Asia travels. And they said, We should pray. Well, I heard the hand to pray. The Lord says, Stop that nonsense. Don't let them fool you. Ask the resident pastor where that girl is. He's the one that organized the kidnap of that girl. What a world! What a world! What a world! I have seen pastors poisoned. I have seen pastors killed. I have seen people assassinated. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? I have seen people assassinated. I was preaching a certain church. That church is a church that has denominations around Nigeria. And as I was sitting down, resting in the restroom, and in the restroom, I heard a pastor planning with somebody on the phone. He said, what time is the election? They were about having a pastoral election. He said, what time is the election? He told him. He says, around Saturday, yes, let's waste him on Friday. And when I heard that call, caught me in the restroom. And I came, I said, so who are you talking to? He said, no, we are just taking care of some business. There is somebody we need to, we need to just expire, expire. And this was a pastor talking. My heart was broken. My heart was bleeding. That is the generation we are living in. Am I talking to somebody here? The world is wicked, even in the church. The highest form of attack a man will get before promotion comes from the church. The church of God has now copied terrorists. Before terrorists kill you, they will pray. As they are killing you, they will pray. Terrorists in the church. God punish the devil. We will see their end. They will not see our end. Amen. In Jeremiah 5, verse 26, the Bible says, Among my people, there are wicked men. You are too protected. Number one, you are protected because Jesus became your substitute. He said, If you want them, take me. Somebody says, He's my substitute. Say, He's my substitute. Say, He has paid the price. He has, he has paid the price. No, I like that song. I like it. He paid that debt. He did not owe. I owe that debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song. Amazing grace, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt I could ever pay. Can we sing it one time again? He paid the debt he did not owe. I owe the debt I could not pay. I need a someone to wash my sins away. Now I can see a brand new song. Amazing grace, Lord Jesus, pay the debt that I could ever pay. So, if you are sick in body, Jesus was already made your substitute. Those of you on the wheelchairs with workers on crutches, this thing you are going through now, Jesus has carried it already. Amen. So why are, you, why are you carrying what Jesus has carried? How will you feel as a student when you are told your father has paid your fees and yet you are told you can't receive lecture? The first thing, the first thing the, the realization brings is anger. That is why I want you to be angry. Don't be comfortable. You are paralyzed. 
you are walking with a wheelchair you are in a wheelchair rather you are on crutches don't wait for me to pray for you as I'm talking now as it has done on you that Jesus has carried it you will stand up as it has done on you that Jesus has paid the price you will rise up and you begin to walk don't wait for apostle to come and pray if you, the devil say you can't walk tell the devil today I must walk stand up and begin to walk as I'm talking to you now stand stand I'm talking to those of you paralyzed stand those of you on crutches stand stand raise the crutches raise it raise their crutches walk out walk out walk out walk out thank you lord raise your crutches and start walking walk out thank you lord walk out look at them running tie his trousers his trousers are falling off if you are tired of being paralyzed tie his trousers for him if you are tired of being paralyzed hold on just hold on don't say don't don't talk to anybody yet let them obey instruction papa drop the work drop the work in there throw it away throw it away sir run thank you lord throw it away throw it away run thank you lord turn back turn back run Hello. find out where he comes from somebody say he has carried it papa there's a mighty move of god here papa this man was involved in a fatal accident march last year and since then he's been on crutches after you pray tonight the power of god the supernatural power of god came upon him i don't want to see anybody crippled look at him walking anybody stand up whose worker is that raise up the worker let's have let him or her walk out whose worker is that raise the worker walk out papa this man is mr john one year he was carried from anabra to this place for five years papa he could not even walk by himself he was carried to this place for the first time in five years he stood up by himself he's not just walking papa he's running by the power of god in five years look at him papa look at him he's bouncing bouncing papa he's bouncing what are you waiting for listen to me listen it doesn't have to be only the emergency Whatever you are in the crowd, Jesus has carried it, you cannot carry it. Hey, man. Oh my God, nobody's hearing me. He has paid it. He has paid it. Whatever you are in the crowd, he has paid. He has paid. He has become your he said, he said, I am here. I did myself for these people. He has paid it. 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 Akabala Katayatasha. Shakrito Prito Prito. I just saw somebody whose mind, somebody was brought here mad. The person's mind is being restored. The person's mind is being restored. Listen. I'm seeing someone. Listen to this. I'm seeing somebody. Listen. Those of you at the, at the emergency, please take the mic off your mouth. We don't want to hear you when you are, are taking, you are um, in, in, interviewing people. I'm seeing somebody. Listen to this. I'm seeing somebody. I saw this in the car. Oh, we are coming. And I'm seeing it again. You are going somewhere. I don't know what you are going to do somewhere. Like you are about to install something. I don't know what you're about to do. And you had an accident. And from that period till now, you cannot feed through your mouth. You feed through a pipe. You are going to install something like a mask, like MTN. And from there, you'll be feeding through a pipe. 
you can't feed through your mouth because there's a problem with your throat your esophagus down so you feed through a pipe if you're that person call me i want to pray for you you feed through a pipe power this is almost 18 years I don't know what I, uh, I wanted to preach, but I'm sure there's an emergency. Where's the pipe? Where's the pipe? I can't see it. Is that is that where you feed through? How do you do it? How do you do it? You, injection. You inject you have to inject food into your body oh look at the stomach Jesus. i saw that in the car and i saw the flash of it again so how do you feed where are you from can you talk can you talk yes i'm from data state you're from data okay how do you feed through where? A tube. A tube. Too much. A tube. Yes, sir. You do you use injection? Yes, I use. I, I blend the food. You blend the food? Yes, sir. And you put it there? Yes, sir. I and that's how you eat? Yes, Come. Sir. Come. Come. Eh? What is this in your mouth? Artificial teeth. Put, the, put, put your artificial teeth back. No, 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 no. Put it. What is that you pulled out? You, you, you breathe through there. You don't breathe through your nose. This is where you breathe through. This pipe. So your nose is blocked. You can't breathe through your nose. No, no, cover it, cover it. Step back. Can I pray with you? You will breathe through your nose. No, I can't help you. Don't say I should help you. Don't say I... you say Jesus should help you. Don't say I should help you. You will breathe through your nose. Does anybody know him? Does anyone know him? Does anyone then know him? I like I like witnesses. I like with I don't like we are we are a straightforward people. Does anyone you know him? Who is it to you? He came to my commission. And, uh, Who is he? A, he came to our commission. Who are you? I'm a pastor in St. Baptist Church. What about you? I'm a pastor. He also came in, my, in our oh, church. Oh, he has been going from church to church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who are you? I'm a laundry shop. He carries clothes to our shop. You are what? A laundry worker. A laundry? Yes. He carries clothes to our shop. He buys clothes? Yes. I know him too. How do you know him? Same ministry, sir. Same ministry? Yes, sir. In Wari, yeah? Yes, sir. You know him? He's a pastor. Eh? He's a chorister. You're a singer? You're a pastor. This one is a pastor too. Stand up. Stand. It's okay. It's okay. The devil is a liar. Now, do you know, first of all, there are things some of you should see and just thank God. I'm not going to talk more than that. There's some things you should just see and just say, God, thank you. There's something the Lord is telling me, sir. I want to pray for you, but the Lord said, why do I want to pray for you? That you are, you are more prepared for operation. You want to do operation. I want to pray for you, but the Lord said, no, you want me to give you money to do operation. You want money for operation. Eh? 
No, no, stop, stop. It's, you want money for operation? No, don't do that. Talk to me. That he wants to go for operation. I want to pray for it. The Lord said, hold on. That's not what he wants. He wants operation. So which do you want? Come to me. Come. And now I know he touched me. Now, I'm sorry, I was preaching. This is an Holy Ghost emergency. Come close. Lift your hands. Something happened. And now I know he touched me. And me. Something happened, and now I know it just and me. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, touch him, touch him, correct it. Start feeding from the mouth, breathing from the nose. Correct it. Do it and take the glory. Let no man take the glory. Do it. Run through his body. Make him all. Correct it. Correct it. Touch. Put your hand on the nose. No. But breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. You can feel it. It's breathing from the nose. Out. Out. In. Out. You can. You can feel it. Any. Anybody can come and come and check. Anyone who wants to check can come and check it. Breathe in. Out. <laughs> Who has water? That's too, that's too cold. Just hold it and wait for my instructions. Wait for my instructions. Wait for my instructions. How many people believe in miracles? The reason I ask questions like who knows him, who knows him, who knows him, and none of that is so that everybody we have witnesses. The anointing of God is real. Brother, look at me. Jesus said, it's not just going to heal you. There are things, I saw a lot of deaths. D-I-R-O-T. D-I-R-O-T. Death. You know death? You know what death is? D-I-R in the system. Your system is dirty. There are a lot of deaths in your system. God is going to flush them out. A lot of deaths in your system. 
God's going to flush them out. Amen. And as he's doing this here, whatever you are in the crowd, I don't expect anyone to be sitting. Whatever you are in the crowd, anything in your system that is not of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. It will begin to go. Because he has become your substitute. I, I don't know why the Lord is stopping me from going further. You cannot carry what Jesus has carried. You can't suffer from what he has suffered from. He was humiliated. He was bruised. He was wounded. You can't be wounded. You are too protected to be molested. But I'm going to pray. Judas betrayed Jesus. But Judas died before Jesus. We will pray a prayer. Those of you at the margins, you're anywhere. Don't just wait. Don't wait for me to come to you. What's the miracle there? Papa, while you are praying just now, pray for the sick. There was surgery going on here. Papa, this man came from a place called Alaka, number 28. Worry. He said that the doctor, the doctor said uh, some years ago, the father's body suddenly started swelling and the legs were swelling for three months they'd be carrying him from one place to another papa while you are praying the power of god came upon him the swelling leg busted busted water started coming out he saw that she saw the father stood up and started walking by herself and he was carried here come busted who, who is that person who is that person standing ah, by them why the son where's the where's the busted part look at the legs the, the, look, look. these trousers are soaked as i speak the trousers are soaked Hallelujah. it busted can you see look at look at look at look at what is happening in worry thank you lord what is happening in worry these are the these are the acts of god as you are praying, oppression was going on. There was oppression going on in front here. There was oppression going on there. So anywhere you are, anywhere you are, anywhere you are. <laughs> I don't know what will happen tomorrow all night. Tomorrow is a vigil. It's miracle till morning. Anywhere you are, anywhere you are, anywhere you are. We see the miracle. Amen. Who is the boy? Who is who are you? Huh? I'm his son. What number are you in the family? Last. You are the last. Where do you live? Alaka. Who knows that place? You, you know it? Number what? 30. That's where you live? Yes, sir. Who else knows them? Who knows them? Who knows them? If you know them, then let me see you. Please forgive me for what I'm doing, okay? Forgive me what I'm doing. I just need evidence and witnesses. You know them? I know them. Who are they to you? This is my friend. He's a keyboardist and this is his father. I'm his friend. Okay. You know this situation? Yes, sir. Who else knows them? I know them, sir. I stay close to them. You know the situation? Yes, sir. Who are all these women my running now? My sister stay close to them. I used to visit their company. You know the situation? Yes. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Don't get too excited. Let's confirm from all these people. Who are you? You know them? Yes. Who are you to them? Is a, how will I put it? Ketika. How will you put Ketika it? Sister Ketika. Is your what? It's my neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. <laughs> Shout Jesus! Jesus! We have not even prayed for the sick. We are about to pray now. We are going to see the power of God. But I want us to take a prayer. I want us to take a prayer. Every conspiracy of Judas, oh Lord, arise, let it swallow up Judas. Hey. Judas died before him. Every conspiracy of Judas, Lord, arise, let it swallow up Judas. Are you ready to pray? If there is anything God hates, is conspiracy. 
when then anywhere God see a gang up God brings the person down miracles are going to be happening hallelujah hallelujah miracles are going to be happening as we pray lift your right hand say my my, my father, father my, my father, father. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, I can hear you, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, every conspiracy of Judas, every conspiracy of Judas, oh Lord, arise, oh Lord, arise, let this follow up Judas, 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 open your mouth and fire your prayer, one day, One minute, everybody, everybody, everybody. Everybody. The Bible says Jesus said, I am. Who do you seek? He said, I am. As soon as he said, I am. You cannot arrest the I am. Is and he stepped, stepped backwards and fell forward. There is the anointing of the I am. An anointing that makes battles bow to you. An anointing that makes heaven show you mercy and grace. An anointing that, of, that gives you victory in the midst of battles. Lift your two hands. There are 60 people. God wants to put a tabourine in your hand. So, I'm hearing something, my left ear. I'm hearing celebration, 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 celebration. 
celebration 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 i am at agataya please worry i want you to believe me i want you to believe me for god to tell me to come here first in the year it is critical it is a it is america it is a london it is a germany it is a japan it is a china it's a worry he has someone here in mind lift up those hands say in the name of jesus anointing for celebration Follow me by fire. Follow me by fire. Anointing for celebration. Anointing for celebration. Follow me by fire. Follow me by fire. Anointing for celebration. Anointing for celebration. Follow me by fire. 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 Lift those hands. At the count of seven. At the count of seven. Sixty of you. Where no one could enter, you will enter. What no one could do, you will do. One! Two! Jesus, Jesus. Six. Bring them here. Bring them to me. I want to pray for them. Bring them. Bring them to me. Bring those boys and girls to me. Power. Seven. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take, take, take. Take. Holy Ghost! Mose prakata layata. Catch that boy! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! for celebration I saw 46 people who you just whispered to me that the favor of God will collide on their helplessness. I just had that word. They say the favor of God will collide on their helplessness. You've lacked help, but the favor of God is coming. Father, wherever they are in this great crowd, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, favor of God collide. Favor of God collide. Amen. Let their names, their new definition become favor. Uncommon favor. Outstanding favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they are, I release it. I release it. Take! Take favor. Help them. Help them. Look at people flying over there. Take! Take it. Let the testimony come. Lose this man. Help him. Help him. Lose this man. Let him go. Lose him. Anything I say, I want you to reply by saying, Come out by fire. Whatever I say, say, Come out by fire. Spirits of delay. Marine spirits. Spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. Spiritual wife. Spiritual wife. Spiritual husband. Spiritual wife. Angel beauty. Amen spirit. Serpentine spirit. Delay in marriage. Struggle without achievement. 
failure at the edge of breakthrough, disappointment, rise and fall, promise and fail. I command you, spirit husband, that is standing against my sister's settlement. You are standing against our marriage. You are standing against our settlement. I attack you in the name of Jesus. I break your power. Thou spiritual husband, I break your power. Lose her and let her go. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, lose her and let her go. Pack your load, pack your deposit, pack your property. Come out! Hallelujah. There's somebody your name is blessing. Your mother's name is mercy. I'm seeing I'm seeing somebody like Paul also in that family. I don't know who Paul is. I'm seeing somebody like Paul and seeing Philip in that family. Your mother, I'm seeing her, I'm seeing your mother with glasses, a pair of glasses. Don't know if she has problem with her eyes. I'm seeing your mother with glasses. I don't know if she has a problem with her eyes. Your mother is wearing glasses. Koshadaba. Married to Don. Because you're married to Don. Don. Right here you are. Are you the one? Are you the one? Stand there. Right here you are. With the napkin that God has given me as a mandate. So take this towel in your hand. Wipe out tears. I decree your tears wiped away. Kashida, the Kashida. Somebody swallowed a nail. There is a nail inside you. There's a nail. Someone here. There's a nail. You swallowed a nail. It's inside your system now. Run out, please. Come, let me pray for you. You swallow the nail. I don't know why anyone will sit down under this temperature. Swallow the nail. There's a nail inside of you. It's going to come out. Where, where's the person? It's wherever you are. Strange acts of God is what we are saying. We are the era of the supernatural. Ika shadows. Two of you take steps forward. The Lord will help you. Spend the next one week in thanksgiving. Not demand. I sit a set of twins around you. Do you have do you have twins? Yes, sir. Children? Yes, sir. Your children? Yes, sir. Where are they? They are here. They are twins. Yes, sir. Go and bring them. Oh. I command sickness and disease from your head to your toes oh thank you holy spirit the holy spirit just said to me son i have just released a hundred and two wedding gowns Amen. you will know god sent me many of the weddings shall be emergencies Amen. speedily 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 the Lord says in the matter of weeks, in the matter of months, the God of heaven will settle you. Amen. I said power will settle you. Amen. The Holy Ghost will settle you. Amen. God will settle you. Amen. 
God will settle you. Amen. I want to, I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. I, I saw someone. I don't know to. Hallelujah. I don't know how to explain this. I'm seeing somebody who eats hair, hair, hair. H A I R O. You put, you take hair and put it in your mouth. It's an addiction. You want to be free from it. It's an addiction. You put hair, hair in your mouth and you swallow it. Hair. H A I R O. Hair. I'm talking of hair. It's just an addiction. You don't know why you do it, but you see yourself just do it once in a while. Please, this person, I have to pray for you. Hair. If you are coming, come. Who is the person? Is it you? Come. I receive it. Yes, I receive it. My miracle. Father, you give it. I receive it. Who is the person? I receive it. Yes, I receive it. My miracle. The favor of God will rest upon your life. The spirit of on time. On time. You will not be late for help. You will not be late for answers. You will not miss opportunities. You will not miss contacts and connections. At the right time, you will always appear. At the right time, you will always appear. At the right time in life, you will always appear. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, this yeah, this announcement from God. What took you ten years? The law said by the grace of speed and divine acceleration. It will take you 10 weeks. Help, 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 help those people. What took others 10 years to achieve? Right here, I make a declaration upon everybody whose hand is lifted. Boy, girl, man, woman, individual, under God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare speed and acceleration. Amen. Speed and progression. Amen. May it manifest in your life. Amen. May it manifest in your life. Amen. May it manifest in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Begin to wave those hands to the Lord. Miracles. And you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. For everyone who has been healed here today, there is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one. I see you are great. You are great. And you do miracles. 